previously on Skyrim. Like, there's only, it's, I can only go down so far before the game's like, you're not allowed to go any further. Oh, here we go. Nope, those are rocks. <laughs> that is a rock. Warning, the following game is rated mature and contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome back to the final episode of Skyrim. On the last episode, we continued on with the fishing quest line as we, uh, you know, now that we know that we were going into, we just decided to speed run the crap out of it. Uh, we headed over to the areas that we need to go to in the frozen sections uh, to go quickly catch some fish there using the new fishing rods we got. Those also really helped. Uh, we spent some time at Solstheim even to do it. Uh, we came back, got the next book and the next quest of fish that we had to go find, which were underground. We headed over to the Ember Shard Mine and managed to find uh, the fish we needed over there. Also in Lost Knife Hideout. Yeah, that was the other one. Uh, so with that, we came back and all we had to do now was to find the rare fish. These super rare fish that were hard to find. Luckily, in the process of fishing, we managed to find three of the four. So we only had to find the one left and we managed to get that one. Yay! So now we now we're like a fishing master. Hooray! Uh, he still gave us another quest though because he gives us the radiant quest for the fishing quest line, where we had to go give a pearl fish to the Arcadia in White Run. Uh, he then gave us a duplicate run, so we'll have to do that later. Meanwhile, the other person we had to go do some fishing lessons over in Markarth, and I think that was it. I can't remember what the quest before that was. Yeah, I don't remember. Maybe this will teach me. Uh, further study. Oh, yeah, Fang Tusk. The, uh, the horker we had to go kill because he was, he had a, he had a vampiric ring in his stomach and was siphoning life energy from people. Anyway, yeah, this episode, we're down to the final seven quests. Seven, eight quests. There's eight quests left. And, uh, we can go knock out a few right now let's just worry about Vilia first because she's the one that has the majority of the quests left Best not go wondering. yeah so she has like uh five out of the eight so we'll just start following i mean this is the actual like Vilia has like the fishing quest line swims in the deep water teaches us how to find all the other fish good to see you finally someone used to look around Except now I need to know where the heck she is. Oh, she's uh, about to enter through this, through this door, I guess. Is she, is she? I was gonna I was gonna wait and cut her off. I don't want her to enter the door the same time I do, and we will definitely miss each other. Don't be behind me! Don't be behind me! Don't don't be behind me! Cousins out fighting dragons, and what do I get? Guard. I don't know where she went. First, I said she was over here, now she's over here. Oh boy, there's a dragon around here. Hey, buddy. Hey, get away from my house. There we go. Dragon dealt with. Good. Ah, crap. Landed somewhere. Oh, it landed over there. You know what, dragon? You might have been the final dragon I get to deal with. We'll see. No, do not go inside. Do not go inside. Yes? Hey, can I get, uh, any more work? Of course. It's all in this note. All right, thank you. I'll take my leave then. Lost wares. Uh, a tragedy has befallen this one's business. We were set upon by wolves along the road west of Old World and Inn in the Reach. Uh, while dealing with the beasts, our cart overturned, sending everything tumbling down the hill and into the nearby river below. In the cart were three exquisite bottles of Flynn, some of the finest spirits in Tamriel. These were of... These are of a very desirable vintage and quite rare. Regrettably, the bottles have already been sold and were on their way to be delivered. Rasad has known the buyer for many years, and she is not known for her patience. If they aren't found soon, this one's reputation will be ruined. 
As the bottles have all sunk down into the muck at the bottom, this one believes a skilled fisherman may be needed to pluck them from the river. A handsome reward awaits any who can return these prize bottles to me with haste. Rasad. All right, Rasad. We're friends. I'll go help you. Uh, let's quickly make a quick, quick, quick pit stop at Morthal. Because uh, off screen, I did I did do that uh, quest that Swims gave us. That was a duplicate. And I got a new quest. Which was to uh, bring four brook bass to Janna. So let's go find out where Janna is, and we'll give her four brook bass because I have fourteen on me. Because I reduced the amount of I reduced the amount of fish, and the amount of uh, ingredients that I had of each fish by uh, down to ten. So my inventory my inventory almost got full with all the fish I had. Ten's fine. I don't think I'll need more than Finally, ten of each. Fun. I hope. Kick off your boots. Stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I got nothing but time these days. That's good. Yeah, you want some fish? There ain't much to offer, but if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. Hey, here are the brook bass you requested. Thank you. Here, this is for you. All right. All right, then. Thank you, Jonna. Ooh, that fire just immediately lit up. At least it was dark before then. So there's only... Okay, that was one quick quest. Now there's the other quick quest. Looks like we need to go over here and uh, find the cart and then fish out some very expensive bottles of wine. Or Flynn. It's wine. Is that bear going to attack me? Where's the bear? There's the bear. You know what? You didn't do anything. Ow, my bones. Oh, Horold, old Horolden Inn is up there. Uh, and there seems to be a fishing spot right here. Yep, here's the overturned cart. Everything went to the bottom of, this, of the river. I mean, I could just go dive, but... really want me to. Oh. I don't think it matters what fishing run we use. It's a quest item, so it should be a 50% chance every time I cast it. Now I don't actually want fish. Uh, okay. I mean, actually, give me fish. Because the quicker I remove all the fish here, the quicker I can just find only junk. That'll make things much easier. Or I could just get one right away. There you go. Age, F Age Flynn. Such a good fisherman. I could just fish in the exact same spot, and I'll find all three of them. Don't even need to turn and look 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 to the left, look to the right. No, 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 no. Oh well, that was that was stupid. <laughs> it was gonna be a fish. It was gonna be junk. Just think about this, Yambo. I mean, we're doing a lot of work for retirement, which is crazy. But once we're done with these, oh, then it, then there's nothing left. Then it just then you can just fish to your heart's content, and everything will be fine. We do have to burn the the cheat room though, because uh, that's a that's that's God stuff. There we go. All right, Rasad, please tell me this actually points out where you are. Currently at White Run. Would not doubt that he moves. <laughs> I would not doubt it in the slightest. Yep, he's currently on the move. Okay, he's not that far away. We'll catch up. I will say, though, there was... I mean, like, we're not going to be getting the rest of the unique rings that we get for fishing up. Because I'm not going to spend, like, the time looking for them. We will be getting an item that makes finding items easier, but... I don't know. It's still going to take a long time for those to appear. We got lucky with the first two. We got really lucky with the first one. Get the best ring right away. There also have been some stuff that we did not get legitimately. Because, boy, it would have been just as tedious trying to, like, get the random randomization of it to eventually appear. Like, you know how much problems we had 
when we were doing the walkies way back in like the 30s. What are you doing there, sir? All right, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. I feel like I should be able to come here. Okay, you didn't even give me a chance. Yeah, that's that's fine. I guess the elk scared you. I was gonna give you a chance to walk away, but no. Anyway, yeah, like when we were doing the walkies back and forth to try and get that stupid quest to start, and it just never appeared. Uh, there's two similar things. All for sale at fair prices. Hey, Rasad. The road makes this one weary. Hey, here are all the bottles of aged film you lost in the river. Excellent. And now, please, accept this token of appreciation. Come and see what is for sale, traveler. You're welcome. So, yeah, there was like... There was like... I mean, one, there was a thing for... If you remember when we were doing like the Ethereum thing... And we helped the ghost, and she was like, my partner betrayed me and did did this and that. And, you know, he never got brought to justice for stealing her, her thing. There is a random encounter that appears later on where he and a couple of, like, his quote-unquote buddies are there. And they'll, like, be like, oh, hello there, sir. You know anything about the Ethereum Forge? And then you'll be like, yes, I managed to actually go there. And if you happen to be, like, wearing or had, like, the Ethereum item that you created at the forge, he'd be like, oh, oh, you actually were there. And then he'd be like, well, you know my secret then, so you have to go. And then you kill him, and he has, like, unique armor. Or unique, he has unique, like, f fancy clothing. Unique robes. But look at that thing. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's one unique thing. I just got a copy of it in the, in the cheat room because I didn't want to deal with it. Uh, the other thing was, and this only happens after you defeat the, uh, the gourmet. Wherever the Daedra hide, the vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. Good job. The, the, uh, okay, here's some merry bunch. I don't have any alcohol in me anymore. Uh, you'll, you'll find, like, a random person that'll be like, I'm, his name is Balbus, and he's like, I'm the biggest fan of, of the, uh, of the gourmet. Well, if you just so happen to have this item with you, remember, this is the thing that was like, I am definitely the gourmet. Uh, you could, like, show him that if it's in your inventory, and he'll be like, oh, you're the gourmet, and then he'll give you, like, a special fork. That's it. There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. So yeah, the fork is unique, even though it's just a fork. Uh, once again, just got to copy that from the cheat room. But I did have it in my inventory, just in case someone manages to show up. So I was walking down this path to see if maybe there was someone here. There's no one here. All right, well back to a uh, white run we go. I'm just going to go to the docks, because there's no way Vilia is going to be at the stables. She's going to be back at the docks by the time I get back. And that's fine, because those are both, like, very optional, random things that can happen. God might get nervous. A man approaches with his I mean, to be fair, so was, like, getting the afflicted note, and uh, the afflicted note led to the, door the Daedric quest line. But that didn't happen. My husband Bercy will be the death of me. He spends too much time worrying about wood and not enough. Oh, hello there. Need something? Oh, Snippy's getting bigger. Hey, uh, any more work? You're headed to the capital. It's all in this note. Ooh, okay. All right then. Oh, wait, hold on. While you're here. Need something? Yes, I need that last piece of work that you can give me. I understand. It's all in this note. Darn it. That's, that's not it. I need... I don't need the bounty. I don't need the specimen that gives me, like, the further study. Hmm? You Will have you give me something quest. different? I, it's all in this note. You technically did. 
but that's also not correct. All right, well, I'll just keep on doing this until you eventually give me what I want. Need, hmm? I un- It's all in this note. There we go. That's the one I needed. Until next time. All right, well, with that, I don't have to worry about any randomization anymore. Also, I'm pretty sure I could drop this now. Yeah. Okay, so the- Look at you. The way her things works- what? Spoiled as a child, I'll bet. Allowed to leave trash just lying around. I was, I was testing something. Yeah, for some reason, for these like quest things that she's been giving me, I can drop, I can drop the one previous. Like we had the fishing tutor, I couldn't drop it until we got the new quest. So now that we have the new quest, we have this one. Oh, uh, our tenants have all paid their rent on time for once, so I find myself suddenly flush with coin. I decided to celebrate with a feast. Of course, the innkeeper at the Winking Skeever possesses neither the ingredients nor the skill to prepare what I desire. I seek a cooked arctic char, steamed crab legs, and a helping of crab stew for good measure. Please set a table on the second floor of the inn so that I might avoid being disturbed. I will leave behind generous repayment once my dining is concluded, but only if the meal meets my expectations. Unfortunately for me, few things do. Gizli. Well, is she going to pay me? Regardless? All right. Well, she wants all that stuff. I mean, I cook every now and then, and I might just so happen to have all of that stuff in my inventory already. <laughs> like, I might I might already have uh, uh, a steamed mud crab legs, some crab stew, and some cooked arctic char. Hmm. Gee, it's almost like I kind of expected this to happen. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. I will. Someone drop their plate. All right, Gizly. Wait an hour? Okay. I'll look I'll look over here. How was it? Oh. Gizli's note. Uh pray Yambo. Praise is something I seldom offer, but I found my meal to be a fine display of culinary skill and service. Quite delectable. I shall have to tell Viarmo all about this delightful meal and the accomplished fisherman who prepared it. Perhaps you will write a song in your honor. Please accept this coin along with my thanks, Gizli. Aw! I'm a good cook. Thank you for the song, Pantia. I mean, it was about Alduin, but... I beat Alduin. <laughs> uh, oh, not that one. What about this rubbish thing? Uh, f fish up four items from the water in Markarth. Okay. Some have taken to using the water that runs through Markarth as a place to dispose of empty bottles, worn boots, and other unwanted things. Not only is this unsightly, it poses a danger to our citizens. Sadly, we do not have the men to spare to clean up this mess. Any who can fish up at least four pieces of trash from Markarth's water shall be rewarded. Help us keep our city safe and clean for everyone. All right. We'll be there in just a moment. First things first, though. I will go back over to Vilia and continue working on her quests. Because, I've mentioned this multiple times, there is one, there, there are three extra bows, that, uh, bows, rods that we can get. We've already gotten two of them, so we're still missing the third. And seeing as that we still have quests for Vilia, I can only assume that we're going to get it as an item for Vilia's quest line. Yeah, Snippy's getting bigger. He's mm -hmm. also burrowing into the wood. Hey, more job. Of course. It's all in this note. Mm-hmm. Dwarven investigation. Fishermen have removed... Ah. Fishermen have rumored that at the mouth of Bronzewater Cave lies a strange mechanism, undoubtedly of Dwarven make, whose purpose is yet unknown. As my research leaves me too preoccupied, I seek a reliable surrogate to inspect the mechanism. Any novel Dwarven objects, semantics, and the like are of great interest, and discoveries should be reported to me any once. Disturb on me only when you have results, not before. Kelselmo. All right. 
Tell someone wants to go check out Bronzewater Cave. You know, we accidentally went here before, so that's kind of perfect. And, you know, when we go back over to Markarth to go talk with Kalsamo, we can go do the other quest. Read the Fisherman's Journal. Can you believe our luck? We've stumbled onto a gold mine, or more accurately, a dwarven metal mine. A staggering amount of scrap lies along the bottom of this frozen lake. Had we known how lucrative this trip would be, we would have brought wagons, not buckets. Strange machines still stand just above the water. We could only find what powers them. Riches surely lie in wait, and we can hang our fishing rods up for good. I'll bet we'll find it here, among the rest of the scrap. We just need to keep doing what we know how to do best. Fishing. Sometimes I see a glint, a faint glow at the bottom. When I cast my line in on or try to swim to the bottom to retrieve it, it eludes me. No luck. We still haven't managed to fish up whatever it is that might power these machines. Jorah jokes we'll need a dwarven fishing rod to solve this decidedly dwarven mystery. Schematics were said to lie in a ruined tower at Alftand in the mountains up north. When people speak of me tomorrow, they won't say, here comes Faldrin the fisherman. They'll say, here comes Faldrin the treasure hunter. We leave for Alftand at first light. And with that, that's the final book. <laughs> <laughs> that is the final book that we can get in the game. Oh, this is a dynamo actuator. An Ethereum dynamo actuator? I thought this was... I thought this had, like... I thought that was a trap. <laughs> Alright, so they went up to Alftand, huh? Alftand Ruined Tower. Don't you dare get near me. I can't fast travel because of you. I can't fast travel because of you. Get over here! What are you doing with that fish? Wasn't a fish at all. You know what? It finally makes sense. There was this tower over here that we never found anything in. And it was the weirdest thing. Until now. Like, we just went down this place and we found, like, a bunch of treasure hunters. And that was it. But they were already dead. And it was weird when we were searching through Alftan to, like, look for clues. When we were heading on our way to Blackreach. But now we know. But now we know. There it is, Dwarven Fishing Rod Schematic. I will take that. We'll just keep on going this direction then. There was this thing that activates this and yeah, it just spurts fire out. Yep, here's Jorid. Ah, uh, that explains why you were a named character. You know, I bet we did find out about you back then. And we were like, oh, Faldrin. Oh, wait, Faldrin's the guy that we was, that wrote the thing. Poor guys. They just got a little bit greedy and they paid for it with their lives. Well, I mean, I don't need to go outside to warp over to Markarth. All right, Kelsoma. I found the perfect thing for you. You want a Dwarven stuff? I got you a schematic. Oh God, what's the courier want? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Wavebreaker, okay. Viria's hastily written letter. Uh. Yambo, I need your help. I was sent an urgent letter by y'all Brina Marilis of Dawnstar. It would seem that the frenzied mudcrabs you defeated not long ago have reappeared and are more fierce than ever. 
guards were sent to clear them out. When they arrived, the reports of the battle definitely the reports of the battle defy belief. They said that a ghostly apparition rose from the sea before they fled in terror. Reinforcements are said to be on their way. Could it be? I suppose it's possible. Forgive my idle rambling. I'm leaving Riften for the shores west of Dawnstar. I have a terrible feeling about this. We will make our stand near the fishing shack. It's been ages since I swung a blade. I hope I still remember how. Viria. Well, you know, Viria, I'm just newly retired, but I'm I'm a I'm a well worn adventurer, so I'm pretty sure I can I can handle it. But we will be there in just a jiffy, okay. There's something going on. We can't leave this place without completing the quest here. Well, maybe we'll maybe we'll not do like the rest of this quest because we gotta quickly go deal with the giant emergency. But we can't leave Mark Arthur without going to fish up some junk. I have things to study. What is it? I investigated Bronzewater Cave and discovered a dormant dwarven mechanism. Yes. Uh, fishermen saw glowing objects that may activate it, but couldn't retrieve them. Hmm. No, that's probably not of any use. They believed using a dwarven fishing rod might help. Here are the schematics. Ah, yes. There it is. Thank you so much. In exchange for the schematic, could you build a dwarven fishing rod for me? Of course. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. What? Oh, goodbye. Well, you got 24 hours. <laughs> you got 24 hours to do this, or else, or else it's your head. I've become the bad guy. I'm Kingpin. It's not always about the money, Kalsomo. I mean, he's not getting paid. <laughs> he got the schematics. That's good for him. All right. Well, I just I, I remember I said that we were going to be a haste because of the evil thing. Yeah. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. I've returned. Is the dwarven fishing rod complete? I've been holding on to this for you. Here. I hope you like it. Thank you. Consider the bounty paid in full. I'll try using this near Bronzewater Cave. Oh, now do be careful. What? Oh, goodbye. All right, that gives us our final our final rod. It is the dwarven fishing rod. Greatly improves the chances of catching items when fishing. So yeah, that's that. Now that we got that, we can use that with uh, outside. I like I put the fishing rod in my left hand, and my uh, I got righty in my right. We'll get the, we'll get the junk out of the river, and then we'll. Uh, We'll, we'll quickly make our way over to Dawnstar, because there seems to be some awful stuff going down over there. Uh oh. Ain't true what they say about you. Almost landed on that guy's head. Is it? This looks like a normal fishing rod. Is this my dwarven fishing rod? Ah, it had to be in my right hand. Okay. Weird. I mean, I just need to get junk. I need four things of junk. So I might just fish here until there's no more fish. Although there wasn't anything that jumped out of the water there, so it might just be junk. Might have fished this place clean right now. Yeah, we got some boots. There's one item. Okay, there was some splashes there. I got lucky with that last thing, though. Ooh, more items. Okay, that was just that was a rare item, but it wasn't like one of the unique rare items that we can get, which are the rings. I mean, we'll, we'll see a ring if we get it. If we get it. That's unfortunate timing. I can't, I can't really tell where the splashes are. 
I barely, I barely see them every time. Okay, another junk. Another helmet. One more thing. Who's throwing away Dwarven stuff? That, you know, that weapon might have been a murder weapon. Who knows? Two helmets. Okay. We did it. Rarick. Oh, we gotta go back inside. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I gotta, I gotta hurry. Dawnstar's under attack by mud crabs. They're being stormed by the sea. Last time, I last time it happened to a town in Skyrim, that's what happened to Winterhold. Well, not literally. Winterhold got eaten up by something. But it wasn't mud crabs, I swear. And it wasn't my fault, I double swear. Ah, crap. I'm Igman's uncle, as well as his steward. Hey, I've cleaned up the water around Markarth. Thank you. Here, this is for you. I have letters to read. Yep, you're you're fine, Rarick. All right. I don't have a fa I don't have a fast travel to Dawnstar. I gotta leave. All the towns I have fast traveled to are inside places. I don't think I need my fishing rod anymore. If we're gonna be fighting, if we're gonna be fighting a uh, giant mud crabs and potentially a ghost. Uh, I mean, we do need to go back over to. We do need to go back over to Bronzewater Cave and get the things out of the water there. Okay, not not the time dragon. Just gonna pull this out in case I need it. There's also a giant here. Are you thinking of landing? You're not thinking of surviving, are you? Keep away from Dawnstar. You actually did land. Who the heck were they attacking? Bandits. Miss that? That was a whiff. There we go. All right, enough of you guys. Uh-oh. Got catapult set up here all of a sudden. Random fisherman here. Oh, you're a biggin. Oh, those are fire traps. Prepare for the next wave. Hold at all costs. Don't give them any more ground. from no. oh the fisherman died no uh oh uh oh I'm going too far in the water there's so many dead so many dead aha Group of Viri inside the shack. Oh, what about the dead fishermen here? Wait, 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 wait. I have cheats. Oh god, which cheat menu was it? Not that one. 
Oop, I just cast the spell again. Uh, cheat menu? Nope, not that one. Cheat spell options. There we go. Uh, set resurrect. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Set resurrect. There we go. You're alive again. Been pumping and fishing in these parts for years. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. What was that? It's not like my Okay. I need a flaming pot from the frenzied mud crabs. You got one apparently. No, no, drop it. Drop it. Give me that. Uh, uh, uh. Ghost. All right, I got him once. I need more flaming pots. No, 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 get back here. Oh, they, yeah, they stole all our flaming pots from there. I think I can only get one at a time. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. We'll never die. Wake up. Oh god, the small ones have it. Where are the small ones at? I need multiple of these. Oh, hello, you you're dead in that one. Up, 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 up. I think I could do one more shot. I need one more crab. You! Huh. Huh. Wait up! You made it. I'm impressed. It was a gamble, but it turned out well. That sort of wasn't something you see every day. Good job out there. Glad you were with us. I'll tell the Jarl that we prevailed. Good luck on your journey back to Riften. Thanks. Stay sharp out there. Ooh, and no one died! Wait, 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 wait. And no one died! I can still get some flaming pots from some of these guys. Oh, uh, yeah, you guys had some over here. The fisherman alive? Fisherman died again. There you Hunting and fishing in these parts for years. I guess there's a limit to how many people can be alive. Cause that guy will not that guy will not revive despite me using resurrect on him. Alright, well let's go talk to the Jarl. Whew. That was a journey and a half. <laughs> you ever 
ever find a giant ghost crab? I'm supposed to be retired, darn it! Hey, maybe now with that thing rested, uh, they'll stop attacking us. So that's a good. That's a good. That's a good. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. Hey, the swarm of mud crabs should no longer threaten the people of Dawnstar. I'm grateful for your efforts. Here, take this. Ooh, all right. Stay out of trouble now. That's good. Let's go back over to Bronze Cave now with that, uh, now that everything's taken care of. People. People. We needed the dwarven fishing around here for a reason. Looks like we got a fish. Got a fish for something underwater, apparently. Come on, give me junk. It is a quest item, so it's a 50 50 now. That might be it. Nope, that's just a rare helmet. I don't even know what the odds are again right now. It's like, what, 10%, I think? That's Dwemer Metal. I'm looking for something that I guess goes in that actuator right next to us. I love how this entire time I thought these things were like soul gem traps. Crap! I never even looked at them. I didn't even see soul gems in them. <laughs> How stupid. Yeah, from a distance, you know, it makes sense. All right, come on, game. It's a 50-50. It's a <laughs> and I've pulled it incorrectly three times in a row. There we go. Ethereum Dynamo Core. All right, get in there. Now I gotta get now I gotta find one for this one. It's gonna be a fish. No, oh, never mind, it's a crab. I was mistaken. Come on, item. Crap. Couldn't be in the first pull, that would have been great. Not as time wasty. All right, well, I know that's a fish, so I'm not even gonna bother. I don't need fish. I need items. I'd be amazed if I could actually have moved during this time. Like, I just never I never hit the right thumbstick, even though I have. There we go. Urkenthand War Axe of Freezing. Urkenthand War Axe of Fire. Okay. Those are the two unique things. Yeah, I'll just take everything inside. Alright, well... We're not done yet. We're currently waiting for a note. Let's just head over to Riften. Enemies are nearby, really? Ow! What the... Ah, okay. I see how it is. 
I'm attacking you with the with the fishing rod. <laughs> I need to go back to civilization. Also, Viri has to come back from from Dawnstar. She might not be back yet. We'll give her some more time. We'll actually just head home. It's nice when we find couriers here. Because then we know that there's something up. Well, that's not a good sign. Okay, how do we activate this? How many days do we have to wait? All it says is soon. That's uh that's vague. There is somewhere I want to stop at before we wrap wrap. Oh, here we go. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. End of the line. Yambo, thank you for everything you've done for the fishery, as well as your heroic deeds on the northern shore. I'm writing to let you know that I can no longer provide you with fishing bounties. Allow me to explain. The others at the fishery have never understood my appreciation of mud crabs, and our recent battle has only increased my respect for those lovely clod creatures. I've learned so much about how to raise them, all thanks to the juvenile mud crab you brought me not long ago. And so I've decided to leave the fishery to strike out on my own as a crab merchant. Uh, oh god. Everything's in the way. There's space for... Oh, God, get out of the way. There's space for... Uh, for... <laughs> a market stall in the Grand Plaza, but I don't have the materials I need to build it. I'm no smithy either, so I'll have to buy the materials myself. Plan to spend my every waking hour working to save up for it. I'll need a large bundle of wood, nails, iron fittings from the stall doors, and a lock to keep my earnings safe. One day I will have my dream of my own market stall brimming with crab. Swims in deep water will no doubt be repulsed. He's never kept the disdain of mud crab a secret. Speaking of our fish-loving friend, you can still seek work from him if you are so inclined. Viria. Well, I mean, it just so happens that I already have all the all the, all the the stuff I need. I have the firewood, I have the iron fittings, I have the lock, I have the nails. I mean, I'm also planning to build a stall, I guess. <laughs> Let's go to Riften. Oviria. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Hmm? Hey, uh. Here's every. Until next time. Out with it. Here's everything you'll need to build a stall in the plaza. By the gods. I don't even know what to say. I'll stop by the plaza tomorrow once you've got everything set up. Thanks. I'll see you there. All right. Let us leave so that it, like, loads. Hey, kids, I'll actually be here for 24 hours. Well, you smell like a hag, Graven. And you look like one, too. Elf ears. Draugr breath. Mammoth nose. You, you take that <laughs> back. <laughs> Milk drinker. Oh, that's not right. You don't, you don't call- Mr. Brynjolf gave me an apple, Papa. He seems nice. Oh, that's nice. All right, let's wait for, let's wait for uh, the whole day. Sylvia's around here somewhere, at least I hope. She better not have been kidnapped again. She got kidnapped enough. That's why I need to retire so that she doesn't get kidnapped anymore. Plus, they'll never kidnap me. You think they're gonna try and kidnap anyone when I'm around? I mean, I, I guess we should fire Iona because long life to you. Thane. She hasn't done anything. I can visit the temple whenever I wanted. You right. want to talk to me after everything you've done? Who said it? To oh, yeah, I killed his wife. <laughs> uh, hey, look, your stall is here. Hmm. Looks like you're all set up. It would seem so. 
I wanted to give you this, a token of my appreciation. Good luck, Viria. Hope everything works out with your new venture. Thanks. Good luck out there. All right. Oh, look at Snippy. And with that, I like how she had to park right there. I mean, there was plenty of space, like some other spots. She could have taken that one where no one's using it. Or right here, I guess. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Grelta. Well, that technically completes the fishing quest line. There's no more there's no more quests that we can do. Except one. There is one quest we can do. The Ebony Warrior. He approached me in Whiterun. He has challenged me to a fight with him at his last vigil, wherever that is. This is the final quest, the final location. And it's located right up here. I've never actually done this before, but I can only imagine it is going to be stupidly easy at our at this time. One, our weapons are a little brokey. Two, my armor is incredibly brokey. <laughs> Thanks to my boots giving me infinite armor rating, pretty much. Uh, and three, we got this quest, I think, when we turned level 80. I can't remember what level we got it at. It's around there. Um... I'm level 278. That's that's like almost three. To, that's three times higher than what it was before. So. Also, I've killed I've killed demigods. I've killed actual gods. Like. Like uh. Alduin. So, a guy in a suit of armor, in ebony armor, probably won't do that much. I did hear him shout though. It does like it does sound like he knows some knowledge of uh, of shouts. Never come here. At last, Sovereign Guard. You're welcome, friend. You were just looking for someone that could finally beat you, and now. I'll have to look for someone that can finally beat me. But I'm going to take all your stuff. And the last vigil is the final area. And the last quest, the Ebony Warrior. So, with that done, I think we've officially hit 100%. There are no more quests for us to complete. No more unique quests, at least. No more locations to find. No more spells to learn. No more books to go collect. In fact, let's go put the stuff away. Well, let's make a quick pit stop. We're going to stop by Golden Hills. And you know what? Eric, you can keep it. I'm going to get my last paycheck. You can keep it. I know this place has been like the thing that made me rich rich. But, you know, I'm not going to do anything with it anymore. We're back. Great. Are we going on another adventure? No. I'm here to take the profits. Very good, sir. And you know what? Mm -hmm. It's yours now. <laughs> so long, Eric. I'm going to go withdraw retirement. I think we'll make Lakeview Manor our summer home. It's my storage home. That's what it is. It's my rich guy home. I mean, I have like several places. I have, I have like a dozen houses around Skyrim, so it doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> but I think I think Gamble will enjoy retirement with Rifton. Plus, if he if he ever gets bored, bored, he can always go fish at the dock. He can go down into the thieves' guild and go have a drink and chat with some friends. Not a bad spot to be. I'm just gonna put everything away. I don't want anything in my inventory. Well, we'll we'll hold on to this the normal stuff. But my care weight needs to go down to like a hundred. Yep, that's where all the dwarven stuff went. All of my soul gems are here, which, you know, maybe we'll start selling them to people that want them. You can bring them over to the college winter hold and get, like, stupid rich. <laughs> I mean, I could just sell my normal gems and get stupid rich. I have, like, hundreds of each. Even if some of them are stolen. I mean, I have 218 flawless diamonds that are a 1,000 each. 
<laughs> that's that's almost a quarter of a million gold there. If I could ever sell them. I have so many weapons in this chest that it's it's crazy. Just putting everything that's not unique away. You two things are going the unique thing. Unique weapons. Arrows. Well, on everything else there. That seems fine. How about armor? I'll go in there. Ring of Khajiit. Ring of Peerless Wielding. Various Charm. Can swim underwater without drowning. Increases light armor skill by 22. Increases heavy armor skill by 22. It's not a bad thing. Water breathing with the with the charm. I like how it's a crab, too. Put the gold... Put that in there. We'll keep... We'll put the rings of stuff in here. I just took a plate. Wait, this is the unique... Oops! I put the weapons in here. That was incorrect. This is this is this is armor and, and clothing, not weapons. Where the heck did they go? Yeah, what are you doing in here? This is apparel. This is apparel. Khajiit. Actually, I don't think this is unique. I don't think that ring is unique. Uh, potions, I don't need those. I could put all the food and ingredients away. I am your sword and your sheep. We got plenty of food at home. Oop, I ate something. <laughs> I ate a fish. We know, oop, I'm eating more stuff. We, we've we made, I ate a human heart. I feel bad. We now know every ingredient that we can learn. We have every book. <clears throat> There's something stuck in my throat. It makes me really want to cough. I don't want to cough right now. Every book is in this chest. Uh, you know, Yambo, you get to enjoy your retirement. You could put them in. Uh, we could put them in wherever you want. Journal goes in there. I think that was the final book. Yeah, so all the notes are left. Every spell tome's in here. I could tease Francois. Every magic spell. <laughs> all the notes I've gathered over the quest. I can't get rid of the black books out of my inventory, so they just have to stay there. Honor to you, my friend. So long, Rhea. I will be back whenever I feel like coming back here just to, uh, I don't know, go over my inventory stuff. <clears throat> but Yambo's quest ends now in a nice, quiet peace. As we're just minutes away from our house. With my wife and two adopted kids. Oh, this will be a nice life. Plus, I have like I have half a million gold in my pocket. So we'll never run out of coin. Because, I mean, my wife's store is also very, very good. Plus, I can fish and sell all the good stuff. And we have the cheat room. Which, you know, we'll, we'll not tell anyone about. But I can make infinite gold there regardless. Where are you, wife? You're back. Yes, I am. Did you give me a present? Uh, sure. What is it? What is it? Uh, here, you can have a, uh, home-cooked meal. This is great. Wow, thanks. I mean, you should be getting that regardless. You're stuck here, Sylvia. 
Hello, my love. Back from some adventure, I bet. I sure am. Goodbye, my love. All right. Ma took me to the market. We saw this huge fish. I bet even you couldn't lift it. You bet even me couldn't lift it? <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to do it for Yambo's... Mama said I could visit the temple whenever I wanted. That's going to do it for Yambo's adventures. Take a look at how long it took us. <laughs> Almost 494 hours. Uh, but that's just in-game time. All the things that got included with like every installed content that we have i think this might include the does it this doesn't even include the dlc i mean this does include the creation clubs ah, ah, mod stuff but you know there's only one thing left to do i don't know how long this is gonna take but it's gonna be fine and so ends the elder scrolls 5 skyrim Oh, there was a memorial. That wasn't there before. The game that that was the game came out ten years before that thing. Oh, this is a long one. This is a very long let's play. Two hundred and twenty episodes. The, the it's now sixty episodes longer than the previous one. Oh, these credits might go on for a long time because they have special and anniversary edition stuff in it. But we haven't heard this song in the longest time. It was it was a change. It was a it was. This wasn't the original plan with Skyrim. The original plan was just to do the the bleep bloops, get all the achievements. But then things started getting interesting at the beginning, where it's like, well, I want to see if I could do everything. I mean, all these quests that I've never done before, and like all of these like, like get every perk, get every book. You know, I started collecting a bunch of flowers. I was like, what if I found out what, like, all the alchemy ingredient effects are? And then it kind of snowballed very quickly there. I don't remember which episode it was when we were like, we're going to do everything from, like, we were just going to do all the bleep loops. <laughs> I think it was a big pivot around, like, the... As soon as we entered, like, episode 10 or something. Because he started with the danger quest just because those things glitch out a lot. And that was so long ago. I'm glad we didn't make it a year. I'm glad it wasn't a year ago. It's close. It's a little... It's it's almost 10 months. Because it was like August something. When we started. I don't know if we're going to play another game that's this long. Or if we do it. If we do play it, we're going to do like as much. I mean, I don't really know. Maybe? There were... I mean, we could... There were some episodes that could have been cut because there was like really nothing that happened in them. Like all like most of the walkie episodes, there was nothing that really happened in those. It was just getting like characters to interact with us and do stuff. But that's fine. Without it, we went to fit episode 220. And you saw how much we struggled to get everything done here. <laughs> But this was very fun. I really wanted to play it. Doing it as game 55 seemed proper uh, as, you know, Elder Scrolls 5. Even though we have yet to, we haven't done any of the other Elder Scrolls games. We just jumped into the fifth one. So we're kind of doing it like a Crash Bandicoot situation where we might just play them in reverse order. So, I mean, that's a thing. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I read. I'm I'm like looking up how long the credits are, and it's like, it's like, twelve minutes. <laughs> oh, that actually speeds it up going like that. I, I might have skipped some names. That's unfortunate. Yambo as a character will live on, probably forever. Who knows? I mean, he's not gonna get like a happily ever after, except whatever happens now for his life, because I mean he's he's got like every Daedric Prince vying for his soul. <laughs> he might be able to go to Sovngarde. He might become a werewolf and, you know, be with her scene like her scene gets him. Or, you know, so anything else that could possibly happen. It was still fun. It was very fun. God, Barbus. We haven't heard that name in forever. Look at all these characters' names. Yep, there's Charles Martinet as Parthenax. Mario himself. Hakon? Why, is, why does Hakon have his own? Who's Hakon? 
I like how Nazir has his own voice voice actor. Oh well. It's a very it's a very fun game. And I honestly don't think I'll ever I'll ever do like another another vanilla let's play. Another well, if I ever play this game it'll be a let's play. I don't think I'll ever do like another vanilla playthrough of this game anymore. Because I've already done it now three times. I mean, the last time I was trying to play it, I actually did do some mods. Like, there's the mods that, like, modify what perks you have, what spells you have, uh, like, racial traits that, you know, vary, vary depending on what, like, if you're a Nord or an Argonian or stuff like that. There's one for, like, realistic movement and, like, heavy weight and stuff and stuff like that. Plus, there's all, like, the mods that you get for, like, adding new towns or new characters or your new weapons and stuff. Like, you'd have... You could do Dragon Ball stuff. <laughs> you could have the swords and... You could have the weapons from Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. Last time I... Yeah, that was the last time I played. It was a bunch of the... Uh, bunch of mods like that. Not like the... Weird ones. Just, like, more normal ones to see, like, what a light modded Skyrim would be like. Even on... Xbox, like what I was playing on. I didn't want to attempt to mod my... I don't, want to, I don't want to attempt to mod it on PC, even though there'd probably be, like, more options. Probably be a lot easier. But I think in the future, if I ever play this game again, it will be. And, you know, there's recent news that says that Skyrim... That, no, Skyrim. Elder Scrolls 6 is, like, still five years away, even though the game's... This game's been out for... 12 years at this point. <laughs> this game came out... This game came out before I started Let's Play. And, uh... Yeah, it's finally here. But it is... It is probably time for it to go. You know... It's been on the channel for 10 plus months. People are wanting to see something new. I know some people probably didn't even watch this because... First person stuff probably gives them headaches. And this game is primarily first person. Well... I mean, the next game isn't first person. It's Spider-Man. Which, I mean, I've been wanting to play ever since I was decided I was going to play it. And that's, that was like two years ago. <laughs> Technically, I've been wanting to play it since it came out, which was five years ago. But I could just, I was just like, oh, we'll find the time to play it whenever. What was happening five years ago? 2018? I don't remember what games we were playing. <laughs> we were playing through... We were playing through uh, Breath of the Wild then. That's the game that we were playing. That was the that was the oh wow. Twenty games ago it was Breath of the Wild. I think it's just gonna loop the uh, the theme song for this over and over. I don't want to hit any buttons because I don't know if it'll skip anything. I mean we've been pretty nice that we always watch the credits at the end even if I do talk over them because it's worth it. I mean I just spent two hundred and. 20 episodes playing the games, they deserve to have their names appear on screen. <laughs> I'll never forget Yembo. <laughs> I mean, we could have gone way crazier. I wonder what the I wonder what the Ebony Warrior was thinking. Because when he when he first saw us, we were probably like garbed in like dragon bone plating armor or whatever. And then, he, and then we just show up, like, several years later in in-game. I, I think we, like, saw him back in, like, a year 202 of Era 4. And we ended in 204. And he, we're just wearing normal clothes. We're just wearing, like, some jewelry. And we have, like, this Stalrim dagger and a fishing rod in our hands. And we just beat him to death. <laughs> Is he going to be allowed in Sovereign Guard? I feel like we might have ruined his chances of going to Sovngarde because of his death. Heck, I hope we get to go to Sovngarde when we die, even if we aren't like Nords. We were there before. I mean, we were there when we were alive. What is... I wonder what Orc Heaven is like. I mean, they worship one of the Daedric Princes. That's how we get... That's the one we got the hammer from. I don't remember what his name was because it was... It was like in the it was like in the forties when we got when we did that quest. <laughs> uh, 
how long did we spend on soul time i feel like we spent like we, we didn't spend that long in soul time i thought but maybe we did because uh it was like in the 170s 180s when we started so that's like 30 40 episodes there's no way there's no way it was that long i'm going to the i'm going to the playlist i'm going to the playlist and finding out 1 thing that's going to suck is that I mean at the time of recording, let's see. This episode's coming out so that's 215 16 17 18 19 20. This is a, this is being recorded a week in advance. Which is something I'm not going to be able to do with the blind let's plays. Cuz I don't like to get that far ahead. Okay, let's see. Episode 160 was when we beat Alduin. And so everything after that was pretty much DLC. And any other quests that was like not done done. Uh, we started... Started Dawn Guard in episode 170. Two. And we finished it by... 187. So that was 15. 15 episodes. Dragon Board started 188. And that went on until... I guess 209, so 21 episodes of Dragonborn. And then the last 10 episodes were, were uh, Creation Club stuff. Well, what did we do on episode 120? That was, uh, that is a good question. Oh, that was, we were uh, just wrapping up. We were just wrapping up being a werewolf, I think. Yeah, and we were purifying their other, the other characters. Okay, I'm touching. I was touching the, I was touching the control stick a little bit, so it might have looked like it lagged, but it wasn't. It was just me. Now I'm trying to think, if we do play Oblivion, when would we play Oblivion? I've never played Morrowind. I would like to play Morrowind and just see. Because I know there's probably a lot of stuff that I was like, ooh, but I didn't. I knew nothing about, like, a lot of the history stuff. Especially everything, like, revolving around. I probably would have appreciated Dragonborn more had I played through Morrowind first. Just because a lot of it, like, tied back. Also, a lot of the Creation Club stuff, like, brought weapons and armor and, and like, trinkets from Morrowind and Oblivion back. And yet we never we didn't do anything with it, <laughs> or we were, we were like, "Ooh, look at that!" It was fine. I'm now actually I'm now actually wondering how long the, how long this credits are gonna last. <laughs> I don't want to like look at a video and see like, "Oh, where's this character's name at?" But I I will. Uh, they're going through Zenimax HR. Has it gone through, like, the European stuff yet? Uh-oh. There's Zenimax France. Zenimax Legal. This is like going through a lot of Zenimax stuff here now. IT. I might be ahead of where it is. I better not be ahead of where it is. IT support. I'm looking it up. Where? Where? I keep on looking. I don't see. This song is played like four times. And it's like a three minute song.
What if this is not the credit sequence? <laughs> is there like a... Oh, God. Oh, no. I just looked up what the... What the anniversary credit sequence is, and it's it's gone from 14 minutes to 22 minutes! I found that next legal. Oh. Oh god, I'm only like 13 minutes. I got nine more minutes. Zenimax facilities? I think I've passed it. Yep, I f okay, I found it. I'm like 14 minutes in. All right. Oh, okay. I know there's eight minutes left. <laughs> we can wait eight more minutes. This episode will be a long one. Who cares? Yeah, but now we get to now we get to start playing new games. I know a lot of people are wondering what's gonna be played after after the, the announced ones. Because we still got we guess we got Spider-Man next. And what do we got to play for Spider-Man? I don't know how long Spider-Man's gonna be. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. But we also... There's DLC for Spider-Man, so we get to play through that. We're not going to be playing through, like, the Miles Morales, because we'll probably keep that... Call that as a separate game. So we'll probably wait to play that. Uh, but then we have Neo The World Ends With You, which... <laughs> I don't know what to expect from that game, seeing as that we only recently played through The World Ends With You. And by recently, I mean, like, it was 2020, 2021... It's kind of hard to guess how much, how long it's been because this game took 10 years. <laughs> ten, ten, 10 months. So yeah, 54 was last last year at this around this time, which was Sly. Oh yeah, we went from we went from a uh, we went from Kingdom Hearts three to Sly two to Skyrim, and that was pretty much all of 2022. Where is it? Where are you at? When do we start Kingdom Hearts 3? February 2nd. Yep, yeah, yeah, that was all 2022. Bioshock started on Christmas Eve. Spire Hunter the Dragonfly. Pokemon Emerald. Yikes. That started almost two years ago. That was game 50. Took us two years to get through five games. Uh, we need to start playing some shorter games. I mean, I don't want to like rush the the like the series count. That wouldn't feel right. But people want to see more games on the channel. That's why I did the Hump Day streams, even though we're technically playing another game that we've already played. <laughs> We've already played through Breath of the Wild. We need to we need to finish that game so we can go on to something else. Play something new. I don't know what we could do. Maybe, I mean, it might just be like... I don't know. Because I don't want to take away from a game that could be on Watch Me Fail. Or, you know, a series that could be on Legacy. Unless it's like a very long series, in which case... <laughs> That might we might do a legacy for that, just because there'd be no, like there'd be like no possible way. Kingdom Hearts I think was like is gonna be like the last game that had like multiple multiple things that we had to go through, because that that took over the channel for everything between 2014 and 2022. <laughs> it was eight years, or it's like okay, every fifth game has to be a Kingdom Hearts game. We finally broke away from it. 58 isn't going to be Kingdom Hearts. But I don't want to start a new one and be like, okay, for the next several years, every fifth game is going to be this. Where every year we have to play through another game in the series. But then they're, then we're just waiting. We're, I mean, there's so many video games and there's so little time. <laughs> I, I, I probably will, and I mentioned this multiple times, I probably will during some downtime because I'll have it now. Well, will I? <laughs> That's the thing. Each episode has to be pretty much recorded the day before it goes out. Mm. 
I do have some downtime between now and when the next series starts. I could spend some time like recording a recording that backup let's play that I've always wanted to do. You know, just have like a complete let's play com like recorded and done before it ever comes out. That way I don't have to I don't have to record anything for like a month. That'll be great. <laughs> I could like go on a trip and not have to worry. You know, like when I usually go on trips and then I have to be like, oh, I got to I got to I got to get like this many episodes recorded before I leave. Otherwise, otherwise I'll be in trouble. And so I usually end up just staying up very late the day I'm supposed to leave getting stuff recorded. Okay, we're at the testing team. I probably should have kept the video playing so I knew how long we were. Currently, do not know where the testing team is. Oh, I just passed it. Actors. There we go. Okay, we're 19 minutes in. There's two minutes left. Two and a half minutes left. Thank you, everyone, for making this game. This was very fun. I feel like I was planning on playing this earlier. I don't remember when. I think the biggest, the biggest thing that I was really... The thing that made me want to, like, pull the trigger to play it was uh, when it got, like, Xbox Enhanced with better frame rate. Because there was a, there is, like, a mod that I was using that, like, uncapped the frame rate and it was working very well. But it was a mod, so I wouldn't have been able to, like, get any bleep loops done. And then they were like, oh, we'll just do it ourselves. And the mod doesn't need to be active. And I was like, yay! Now I can do it. And I was like, oh, now I can do it. Now, this was, like, right around the time... I feel like this was right around the time we were going through, like... Uh, dream Drop Distance? That's, that, would, that would have been around the time when I made that decision. Before we finished off... Uh... Yeah, because I would have locked in, like, all the ten games regardless. By the time we uh, got to Kingdom Hearts 3. Because that's when we revealed everything with Kingdom Hearts... Three, we revealed everything up to 60. When we get to 60, we'll reveal everything up to 70. And I'm already worried I'm already worried about that list. Like, oh, are people gonna like it? There's gonna be some new things thrown in and some re returning things thrown in. You'll just have to wait and see. There's also, you know, at this point in time, Tears of the Kingdom is supposed to be on the list somewhere. I just don't know when because we need to wait for the DLC. Because there's no way I'm going back and playing the game after if the DLC isn't out. Which is a problem that we're going to be running into with Resident Evil 4 here soon. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're getting to the end. Look at that copyright. 2011. 10th anniversary edition 2021 version we're already two years we're already almost two years past that all right well on the next episode of watch me fail we're heading off to manhattan i think and going to go see what uh what spider-man sees so until next time Hopefully you enjoy.